Hello there, my name is Valerie White Williams, and I'd like to welcome you to my new spirituality and astrology channel, Cosmic Splendor. Today, I would like to talk to you about the astrology signs and how they are divided. So we have 12 astrology signs that go out for the whole year, and everybody knows the fire, earth, air, and water because we understand those principles and elements but what a lot of people don't understand is that each of those elements are divided into thirds and we have the qualities of cardinal, fixed, and mutable. And those are things that a lot of people don't always consider. So I'm gonna describe that for you. So cardinal, fixed, and mutable describes the creation cycle. So the cardinal energy starts it out, it creates the new field. And so it's initiating. It takes initiation and jumps in to create something new. Then we have the fixed energy. And the fixed energy is exactly that. It's what holds things together. It's the glue. It holds that passion project, power, energy is holding. So they hold the energy. And then we have mutable. And the mutable energy is the energy that breaks it down fixes it, recycles it, prepares for the new cycle to start again. So it's kind of like air, fire, and water. You know, we think of, of water when it has air, it goes into the, to the sky, it comes down and rains down, and then it is ice. So you can kind of see how the cycles also affect the astrology signs. Now, each of the earth, air, fire, and water have all three of cardinal, fixed, and mutable. And it's related in some way to the seasons of the planets. And it's from, it's definitely related to the seasons where the seasonal changes are cardinal. So in the spring, the cardinal, which is when the astrological year starts, is in Aries. And that is cardinal fire. It takes off, jumps in, we're gonna start the spring, the earth is heating up, lots of fire, the earth is warming up. So it's starting the spring season. Then after the fire, we have Taurus. Taurus is fixed earth. So that's when the growing season is really starting to take off. Plants are getting strong. The plants are coming out. Everything's very strong, earthy, very earthy quality, fixed earth. That's one of the most fixed of the signs of the fixed signs. And then at the end of that, as we coming into the summer, the end of spring, is Gemini. And Gemini is mutable air. And so the air is bringing things around, sorting through that, preparing to go to the next cycle, which is gonna start on the solstice. And then we have another cardinal sign. So that's how those energies go. So because some of the signs, I'll say for example, air signs, people think the air signs are going to be very flighty. And yes, they are more about ideas and inspiration and intellectualism, but for example, Aquarius is fixed air. So Aquarius is about probably more of um, philosophies, creating structure in society, and it's again mental ideas, projecting, creating a structure that is solid, that is fixed. So this is where things get a little bit confusing, and at some other point, I'll go through all the signs individually. But what you want to do is you look at the qualities of these signs. You want to look, is it air, water, fire, earth? And then is it fixed, mutable, or cardinal? And then you're going to get a better idea of understanding how the astrology signs work together. All right. Let me know if this is helpful. I look forward to making many more astrology videos. It's truly one of my passions. And I thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If you wanna make sure you're gonna get notified of all my astrological uploads and I'm gonna bridge out to other things like meditation, spirituality, please subscribe, click on the bell so you get notified of all my uploads. All right, take care and have a great day. Bye.